Sports Live and ATL on this Thursday. This video is brought to you by Beast of the East and the Los Angeles Dodgers for taking two of three from the Braves in Atlanta. In a series I still can't believe we didn't win. The bet is on through Monday, 6.30 a.m. Eastern Time on any videos, any streams that I do. So there you go. Uh, subscribe to the channel, everybody. Uh, Share it to all your media outlets. Click notification bell so you know when the content uploads, as a lot of you guys do. And uh, click the like and or dislike button. Subscribe down below. Again, all donations through July 15th on any video and stream that I do will go uh, to Marie's uh, family. Uh, so just keep them coming. Uh, Cash App, PayPal are the best options because I can get it immediately and make sure I get it to them. GoFundMe link is still set up. I post it periodically on certain streams and certain videos, not always, but Cash App and PayPal, Cash App, God dang, Cash App, PayPal are better. You can put anything in and open up your heart. That would be greatly appreciated for Marie's family. A um, couple things about really today. Braves beat the Phillies. Uh, the first two games took the series. Now go for the sweep today against Aaron Nola, Ian Anderson on the mound for the Braves. Uh, it's a good thing the Braves won uh, both of these games because Aaron Nola's a tough cookie. I mean, I don't, it doesn't matter to me that he's 4-5. and five, I think he is. He's a really good pitcher, and the Braves are going to have to bring their bats. More importantly, they're going to have to bring their, their pitching, and Ian Anderson has to pitch better. This dude has been up and down, and his last start was not the most uh, thrilling start. Kept us in the ball game, but I, I mean, I need Ian Anderson to be the kind of Ian Anderson that he was in the playoffs last year. I, I, I need that Ian Anderson. Okay, dominant fastball, getting ahead with strikes, making batters chase, pitching confident, really, because he's going to have to bring his confidence to beat Aaron Nola. Good thing we won the series, so that's the main thing. We took two out of three. Uh, we're now only down by three to the New York Mets, and we're like still a game and a half or so behind the first wild card spot. We are in the second wild card spot at a three. So, and we got a big series, well, I guess just for wins purpose, at the Reds. We kind of owe them a little bit. They split a four-game series opening uh, week for us. Mash Dilly Dashy and I have a bet. I think it's some boneless wings bet or whatever it is. Because he's been on me about this thing all the time. So there you go. So, but last night, I mean, I, I mean I'm happy with it. I cannot complain. The Braves are doing what they got to do and everything. And as four-time defending uh, NLE's champions, I told, I mean, I don't know what's going to happen the rest of the way, but Mets fans running their mouth when they were 10 and a half up. You know, I was, I was I was shocked and a little concerned, but I did say we got time to fix it. And if anybody can fix it, it's the Braves. Because we've been, we've been in this situation, I couldn't even tell you how many times. And we've seen the same old song and dance by the Mets, the same old song and dance by the Phillies. They get, they get ahead of us for a while, early in the year, and then they crumble. Like panko breadcrumbs. Or when you get crackers and you just crack them up and throw them on, on your salad. That, that's not what they do. So until the Phillies and Mets can prove to me that they can hold on to a division lead, I'm always going to be confident. Plus, we're defending World Series champions, and that says something in itself. But, you know, again, that was last year. But, the, but that holds well uh, for this year, and I'm glad to see the way the Braves responded. They got to keep it up. Uh, we'll be streaming the game Friday night most likely, maybe even Saturday. I don't know yet. Stay tuned to my community posts. Uh, I will be streaming the All-Star Game in a couple weeks, so make sure you look for that. And I'm also looking for some guests uh, for uh, this week's episode of Show Stream Saturday with Slitta. It might be on a Friday or early Saturday because I, the schedule changed. I work Sunday at 7 a.m. Uh, and I might, or I might do it later in the afternoon on Sunday. So let me know. Comment below. I've hit up a few people. Let me know if you're interested. Uh, the Atlanta Hawks, man, making moves, man. Uh, getting um, Spurs, Deshante Murray, all-star, uh, excellent point per game average, pretty good defense. I like the fact that, you know, the Hawks are not resting on on the players that they got. I mean, let's be real. There was a lot of expectations after the Eastern Conference Finals run, okay? And I, I openly said it. A lot of uh, fans said it. The Hawks expected the same group of guys pretty much to be able to take them over. Well, they didn't do it. They struggled. Out of the gate, got into the play-in tournament, won that, but then got eliminated by the Miami Heat in four games. Or, yeah, four, four, four games to one. So that was disappointing. Um, but we weren't mentally there. 
and we just did not have the talent. Uh, we have we have good players. Don't get me wrong. We got good players around Trey Young, but you need players who are going to take some pressure off Trey Young. We've been saying that for a, for the longest because when Trey Young sits, the offense tends to go stagnant most times. You know, Lou Williams, uh, he's he's not around anymore. It seems like, and you know, on you look at Kongwu's potential, Cam Reddish is gone. DeAndre Hunter's overrated, in my opinion. John Collins is massively overrated and overpaid. So the fact that, and well, I mean, Kevin Herter, we had Gallinari, Bogdanovich. You got to build around these guys. You know, uh, Gallo was involved in a trade to the Spurs to get Deshante Murray and a couple first round picks. Um, freed up a lot of money too. And I wish Gallo nothing but the best. And it wouldn't surprise me to see him back over here, you know, and everything. But I, I love the trade just for the fact they got a piece for Trey Young that we needed. Helps out the defense and scoring, obviously. So that means Trey Young gonna have to play every damn minute. Uh, but then again, we need to see it in an Atlanta uniform. We saw it in a Spurs uniform, but we need to see it in an Atlanta uniform. Um, the best thing about this trade is that we didn't really give up a hell of a lot, and we freed up money to go look for other uh, potential free agents out there. There are rumors out there, and you know the NBA trade deadlines or whatever it is coming up this week. I think it's today. So we're not done making moves. And the best thing about this, we didn't trade John Collins to get Deshante Murray. And as much as I like John Collins, he needs to go. Because he couldn't step up to the plate against the Milwaukee Bucks in the Eastern Conference Finals two years ago when we were just two wins away from the NBA Finals. Okay, we could have used him uh, in game five and six. If he's the player that he was touted to be, obviously a lot of talent. We needed him to play better in games five and six, and he did not. He did not. Who knows? If he would have given us some effort and some scoring and defense in those two games, the Hawks might have went to the NBA Finals, uh, even with that, even with Trey Young injured. But he didn't. He didn't show up the last two games. So, <clears throat> and he definitely didn't show up in the playoffs this past year. You know that's the disappointing point. All the talent in the world. We threw a lot of money at this dude, but he's not a superstar player. Now, he, if, we, if the Hawks don't trade him, he might be with the additions that we got. But I would assume, you know, just, just trade him and get a bona fide superstar who has proven that they have made plays in the playoffs. Now, I hear a lot of names out there, and I'm not going to mention names because that's not what I do. Because every time names are mentioned, it doesn't happen. I'll let the other content creators mention names. Okay? But I, I'm, I, I see what's going on. So... Because my goal is to build this team to an NBA championship uh, contender, which I thought we were going into last year. And I know we still can be. But Travis Slink is a genius like Alex Antipopoulos with the Braves and, and, and spending money most times the right way. I thought they I thought he didn't. I don't think he did well giving all that money to John Collins. Um, but now we got a chance to trade this guy and get some good pieces in return and save money, I still believe. So, I mean, I, we're, we're not done yet. If we don't trade John I hope we know what we're doing. I, I wouldn't be disappointed if we kept him. Step up and play in the clutch and help us get over the hump. But if he's not going to do it, if he's not going to be able to do it, the Hawks need to trade him and get some pieces here who can. Uh, Kevin Herter's on the block. Uh, Bogdanovich is not going anywhere. Uh, the Hawks are smart. They'll keep, keep Clint Capella. Okay, you're not going to find a big man who's dominant like that. You know, I... Unless you could get a big man who's equal or more in return, you keep Clint Capella. There's no sense of trading him. He's really good. And he's got a great connection with Trey Young. So that's how I see things, everybody. We'll see what happens this week. Go Braves tonight. Got a chance to go to two and a half back of the Mets. I don't like our chances against Aaron Nola, uh, just for the fact that Aaron Nola is who he is. But you never know. It could be one of those games where he doesn't pitch well. But it's, it's probably going to be a struggle tonight for the Braves. If the Braves win, we'll probably win by one or two runs. If the Phillies win, I could see them winning by a couple as well. So, I mean, it'll be, it should be a competitive game. We'll see how it goes and everything. Mets are off tonight. And, uh, yeah, we'll see how it is, man. Um, subscribe to the channel. Click the uh, notification bell below. Subscribe button. Like, dislike button. Share it to everything. And, again, all donations through July 15th will go to Marie's family. Cash at PayPal, Super Chad, GoFundMe, etc. Thank you very much who have already donated and sent kind words in. Sports 70 ATL. And I'll see you in the next one.